OK, so let's go through over to the next point. Um, on the next point, what I'd like to go over is what happens then if we have a point that's not on the unit circle? So it goes back to what I've said over and over and over and over and over again. If you don't have a point that's on the unit circle, the next best thing that you have to do is do what? Create a, create, well, if it's not on the unit circle, if creating a unit circle is not going to help us. You're going to have to create a, a triangle, yes. So right I have right here is it says the arc cosine of 2 thirds. So therefore, I can create a triangle. Now remember, when creating my triangle, cosine represents the adjacent over the hypotenuse. 2 over 3. First of all, notice that these are not inverse operations of each other, right? This is tangent, that's cosine, right? Up here, you can see how they undid each other. These two are not going to undo each other. Then, um, so therefore, uh, for here, now that I have two points, I can use Pythagorean theorem to find my last or my opposite side. So I say 3 squared equals 2 squared plus b squared. 9 equals 4 plus b squared. So therefore, b is going to equal the square root of 5. Therefore, I now need to figure out what the tangent is. Well, the tangent of this angle is going to be square root of 5 over 2. So you're going to say this is just going to equal the square root of 5 over 2, opposite over adjacent. Okay. So to take the tangent, to take the tangent of that, you just find your create unit circle, and then create. All right. Now it gets a little bit difficult on the last question I have. <coughs> 